Today I'm going to show you a really cool trick you can do with color gradients to help draw attention right to your subject and you make a cool image. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNacer. Today we got a cool episode for you. We're going to be doing color gradients and I'm going to make it look like it's kind of like bringing one color to another one and kind of swirling around. It's going to be awesome. You're going to like it a lot. <laughs> Let's get into it. This is a really cool image. It is by Christopher and uh, basically he was one of the uh, winners from our last week's contest. So congratulations Christopher. You get a Flurn Pro just because we're editing your image. And uh, what we're going to do here is basically I'm going to bring in some different colors. So we've got a couple kissing and then they're in the middle of a labyrinth or something. I don't know. <laughs> but um, we're going to add some color. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to curves. Let's go up here and grab some red. I'm going to put some red in here and then we're going to pull down blue, make it more on like the orange scale. There we go. That looks pretty good. I'm going to hit command I here and then Basically with a giant brush, just a paintbrush, I'm using the brush tool now, I'm painting white on the layer mask. So the layer mask, whenever you hit command I on an adjustment layer, your layer mask is automatically going to go to black. And now what I'm doing is just kind of like painting it back. There we go. So we've got some color and you can see it enhances the red in her dress and everything like that. All right. Well, that looks cool. It's got the red. Now I want like red to fade into yellow to fade into blue. So what we're going to do is give it a little bit more like an orangey yellow. So we're going to go to a red channel again. Again here we're in curves. And blue channel I'm going to pull down that, pull that down a little bit more. All right, hit command I on that as well. And then with a large brush I'm going to just kind of paint this in over here. So this is like kind of the transition there. There we go. That looks good. So you can see the building effect. So first layer and then next layer. And then our next layer we're just going to, I think we're going to put blue. So let's go ahead and do that blue and uh, let's crank that up just a little bit. There we go. I'm going to hit command I on this as well and then basically paint this in up here from like the top down. And it should kind of combine with our colors and get a little bit more of like a cooler side there. All right. And we'll make it visible there on the bottom as well. So that kind of combines and cools everything up. So what we have is like a three layer combination. So the red, the yellow, and then the blue kind of comes in over top and um, kind of gives it exactly what we want, which is cool. All right, there are only a couple more things I want to do. Let's go to Curves Adjustment Layer. I'm going to make this a little bit brighter, just like that. And now I'm going to paint this back. Um, you know what I think would be kind of cool, actually? If we, if we drew like a line from here to here. And the best way to do it is just hit P for the Pen Tool and click here on the very top, click down here, and then make a big curve. I'm going to hold down Control or Command, and there we go. We got a really nice curve there. If you guys have any questions about using the pen tool, just click on the tags button right above this episode on flurn.com and then you'll be able to see how to use the pen tool in more depth. All right, there we go. And let's go ahead and connect this right around there. And I'm going to right click inside of this pen selection and say make selection. There we go. Cool. Now here on my layer mask for this layer that we already made, making things brighter, I'm going to paint white right over here just like this. Now, keep in mind this white is only visible where I selected, right? It's only going to be visible where I selected because this is, you know, I have the selection defining my layer mask. So if I hit Command D to deselect, now it looks like light's kind of coming from behind this wall, which is giving a little bit more depth as well. So I just made a selection around that wall and then just painted in with my brush tool. And that gives us something like that, which is really, really nice. All right. Cool. And now let's just make a curves adjustment layer. And here we're going to darken some things down just a little bit. There we go. Let's darken them down. Hit command I on that again. And we're just going to paint white in here, the layer mask. There we go. Cool. So now we have a little bit more of a focal point in our image as well. Here in the end, let's just see about grabbing a level adjustment layer. And uh, maybe we'll put some blue and yellow in there. I just like this effect. It just looks good like eh, pretty much all the time. So I use it all the time because it always looks good. If you find something that looks good and just works all the time, why wouldn't you just use it, right? <laughs> um, you would, so I do. So that's, that's what's going on here. Okay, <laughs> there we go. And that's just kind of like going to give it a little bit more of that color and bring everything back together. You know what, back here when we, earlier when we were defining like our reds, you could go back here even at the end and kind of like come in back and pump up your reds a little bit more. Let's go to our blue channel. Pull that down a little bit more as well. 
There we go. So you can do this at any point of the game. You could go back and adjust any of these. So let's just shift click on all those and hit Command G to group them together. And let's see the before and the after. So there's our before and our after. Pretty cool to just do that in Photoshop, right? Um, really cool. The colors are a lot more fun. It kind of like brings us to our subjects right away and it gives us a nice focal point for this image. Didn't take too incredibly long and um, there we go. That's how we do fun stuff in Photoshop.com. That's what our new stuff site's called. Forget about Flurn. It's now just fun stuff to do in the Photoshop program made by Adobe uh, Worldwide Incorporated uh, dot com. That, that's what it is. I'll flurn you later. <laughs> oh, our TV done cut off in the background there. Can't, uh, can't view the tunes now. Yet you're just shut off from the world. There's no tunage. You might as well go ahead and turn this video off. Just go ahead and hit the off, power the off button there. So you're, just look around the front. It should be just a little, you yeah, just hit the button. Oh boy, that is one crazy photoshopper. That man can photoshop. He look like a frog. I figured out it's hard to um, it's hard not to be in a in a happy mood if you make fart noises with your mouth. Hi guys, Kat from Flurn here. For more information on our episode, please check out our website at www.flurn.com. Also check out our latest photo shoots, which include turning a woman into a chocolate bar, making an epic burger, and lighting a hand on fire. If you want a free tutorial, please sign up for our newsletter. Cause it's a free tutorial. It was awesome.